everybody. Um, this is Connor again. Uh, this time, if you if you've watched my other videos, I'm on a different uh, a new computer, I'm on a MacBook, and um, obviously a different microphone. So hopefully it'll be better quality and different uh, video recording software. So let's get started. <clears throat> Today's um, small walkthrough will be about uh, just some examples of of uh, Ajax controls, um, you know, using a PHP uh, backend language. Um, I'm going to clarify what Ajax exactly is. I think there's a lot of uh, philosophies on what it is. I'm going to show how it it's just Java, a method of using JavaScript that then goes back to a PHP page and sends parameters with it. Um, usually get values and then comes back and displays uh, output from the backend PHP page that it sent parameters to. So let's take a YouTube video for example. Let's find one of mine here. Let's, uh, let's take this one. This is just my PHP object oriented programming eclipse uh, tutorial. Let's take the favoriting system, for example, in YouTube. <clears throat> Notice how when I favorite it, what happens is J JavaScript, a JavaScript function is activated um, that then calls on a, say, a uh, usually server-side scripting language in the ba in a different file, um, and sends a get value meaning a query string like this v you notice how v equals and then this other stuff and then comes back and I'm guessing that it's probably like a PHP page that then inserts into a database and puts in my favorites you notice how then I can just close it and it tells something on the PHP page tells it to uh, stop displaying it so now a little bit more in depth about uh, the P the actual um, code. Uh, first off, AJAX <coughs> stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, <coughs> um, and you use what's called the um, XML HTTP request um, function, which is built into uh, JavaScript. Usually, people use um, li JavaScript libraries to uh, do um, special Ajax controls, which is the way to go, I would say. Um, so let, let's find <coughs> another example here. Here we go. On the side where you see embed code under the video or uh, description, when you click customize, notice how that then activates a JavaScript um, function that takes it back to the PHP page. The PHP page displays this, but just because it doesn't refresh the page doesn't mean it's it's Ajax. I mean, this may not be Ajax. If it's if it does not require PHP, they could just be using just plain old JavaScript. But chances are, such as the favorite system, it is Ajax because it has because JavaScript itself cannot talk to a database. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's uh, good enough for now. Um, and I'll be making an actual code um, tutorial where I'll show you, I'll step you through all the uh, stuff to make an Ajax application, um, and then all the libraries that you could use, the frameworks, um, and yeah, that's that's all for now.